Ah, we live in a great time. All we need is a camera, an all-round lens, a good microphone, some editing software, and you get all you need to make a professional film. So is it worth bringing something big like this on set? And how much can this gain the video quality? Let's figure it out. I have to admit, I never before used a jeep to shoot films, because I never felt the need of it. And it looks so heavy to carry around and not flexible. So how much does this actually enhance production value? In this video, we'll figure it out with some tests, but first, let's take a closer look at it. The whole setup is made out of two parts. The top part is the jib itself, which is called iFootage Mini Crane M1 Mark III. It's easy to take apart and it gets quite small. In addition, it's lightweighted and solid due to the carbon fiber. Inside the bag, there's a carabiner, a quick release plate, a fixing screw, a locking knob, two weight buckles, a low profile quick release plate, a quick release plate with a ball head mount and a small camera screw, and a big screw. The only thing you don't get with the product is counterweights iFootage sells a water bag you can use as a counterweight, but since I already had some weights laying, I added a couple of 2.5 kilo weights, which is enough for my GH4 and Sigma 18-35mm lens. The tripod I'm going to use with the jib is the strong iFootage Wild Bull Tripod T7. It's recommended to use a really strong tripod for the jib, so this is a good alternative. So we are ready to shoot, and this is all we need. The jib with some weights, and the tripod. Even though I added some weights to the bag, this doesn't feel too heavy to carry by hand. In addition, I'll bring the iFootage Motion X2, because I heard it's perfect to use it with a jib. So, let's go out and shoot some video. I met some friends on location and challenged them to assemble the whole setup and Thomas Leipold kept the motivation on top. <laughs> ah, nothing beats a great day of filmmaking with friends. That was amazing, Grace. Good job. Uh, five minutes, almost. It is on five minutes. Four. Four. Yeah. Now it was time to figure out the shot. Even though a jib like this feels inflexible because of its size, you can actually do a lot of different shots with it. Our plan is to have Eskil walking down the stairs, passing some guys at the table, and then climb the ladder. First, we use the jib without any extra equipment. And here is the shot. We find ourselves in Asker, a beautiful town in Norway, not far away from Oslo. The weather is a little strange because it's sun and snow at the same time. Here's my two friends, which are gonna watch me paint this house. This is going to go fast. We were happy with the shot, but since it's difficult to watch the LSD screen during bright sunlight, especially when mounted on a jib, we'll add some extra equipment to use an external monitor. DEC lens for game. <laughs> so then it's the Arai Trans transmitter. Mm -hmm. So now we can monitor the shot wirelessly and use the aperture DEC to control the focus in addition of adjusting the aperture 
and start and stop recording. Since we didn't use this gear in the last shot, we had to make everything in focus, and that kills some of the film look. Which really pisses me off. With the wireless follow focus, we can play even more with the focus. And here is the result. We found ourselves in Askia, a beautiful little town not far away from Oslo. And today we're testing out new camera gear. Here is my friend Thomas. See, he is gonna watch me paint this house. This is gonna go fast. We're going to test out the Motion X2 eye footage on the jib and uh, then we can get some more advanced shots, so that's cool. The Motion X2 is a motorized pan and tilt head. In my earlier video I used it with the slider, but this time we want to test it out on the jib. The whole system is wireless and runs on a V-mount battery. Since this makes the mount heavier we need to add more counterweights. The jib can carry up to 15 kilos, so we are probably just at the limit of what it can handle. Okay, so this is cool. We have the uh, Motion X2 here, so he's controlling the tilt and pan with the motor. And Daniel is controlling the focus, exposure and st uh, start and stop with the aperture DEC lens regain. And then we have the aperture array trans which sends the HMI signal, so you can watch the footage on the monitor, wirelessly. And then if you go over here, we have the whole uh, rig. So this is the Motion X2, uh, connected to his uh, gaming pad, we can call it. <laughs> the transmitter for uh, the HMI signal. We got the Aperture DC lens again on the side here, inside here. And we got a wireless microphone on Eskild. So, uh, and the uh, ND filter, variable in, va how do you say it? Variable. Very ND. Very ND. So you can uh, have uh, aperture 2.8, even though it's quite sunny outside. Cool. We find ourselves in Askia, a beautiful little town not far away from Oslo. And Thomas, tienes hablar más despacio, por favor. Sí. We find ourselves in Askia, a beautiful little town not far away from Oslo. And today we're testing out brand new camera gear. Here is my friend Thomas. Tienes hablar más despacio, por favor. Sí. And now. Thomas is going to watch me paint this beautiful little Norwegian house. I'm just going to climb this ladder. Muchas gracias. To test the jib even more, we went to Sofien Bikes Parking in Oslo and did some experimenting. I would have guessed it was difficult to move the jib around, but it was actually easier than I thought. For the next scene, we want to include a low angle shot. Therefore, we used the low profile quick release plate and mounted the camera upside down.
One of the benefits with this rig is that it has a lot of possibilities for creative shots and it's surprisingly easy to adjust. No wonder why it won the Red Dot Award for Best Product Design. You can mount the camera on different ways. You can easily adjust the length. It's easy to adjust the counterweight. You can adjust the vertical resistance, the horizontal resistance, the tilt angle, and also it has a feature that is called focus shooting. By default, the camera keeps itself horizontal when operating the jib, but by adjusting this part, you can make the camera tilt while lifting the jib. Paura della città dai morti viventi. La plume di cristallo. Il fulci è piscato. Olocausto cannibalo. Ferox. Mancia. <laughs> As you can see, there are many ways of using the jib. Thanks to Sinecom.net on YouTube for the tip of making the actor move the jib. So there's no doubt, the jib does give you a lot of production value. You can get those high angle shots in no time. But that makes me think, why not just use a drone instead? First, it's a jib. We find ourselves in a beautiful park in Oslo called Sofienberg's Park. We can relax in a nice nature environment on a nice Sunday. And then it's a drone. We find ourselves in a nice relaxing park in Oslo called Sofienberg's Park. So you can relax in a nice environment on a lazy Sunday. And it's actually rather nice. <laughs> okay, we didn't actually use a drone for these shots, but you, you get the point. Now we've done some shots outside, but how is it to use it inside? After using the jib for a couple of weeks, I was reminded on how fun it is to experiment with cinematography. You have endless possibilities. It just depends on your creativity. And that what makes it so fun. So, is this something you should buy? I think it depends on your budget. You don't need a jib to make great movies, but it really gives you those unique and good looking shots that is almost impossible to make with all the types of gear. The Mini Crane M1 Mark III cost $499 and the Wild Bull tripod cost $539. The iFootage Mini Crane M1 Mark III is great compared to its relatively low price. You would need some practice to operate it because it's quite sensitive to movements. You need to have steady hands and if you're panning and tilting manually, be sure to use a really good tripod head. As a conclusion, if your dream is to become a cinematographer one day, save some money and buy this thing. Because you will definitely learn new and professional ways of operating the camera. So, thanks for watching, subscribe for more upcoming movie making videos and also check my other channel called The Life of Zelda and Salto 
which is a series about my cats. Yep. So, goodbye, hadura, and I'll see you again soon.